now let's see how to use assertion steps assertion steps are used for verifying you are getting expected result so now let's see how to use it to assert web page title you can use this step so I have a test page and now let's see source the web page title is test for selenium cucumber and I am verifying this title to ensure that I am navigated to my appropriate test page so I have created one scenario where I am navigating to test page and I am verifying the title of test page now let's run this scenario so my test page has been open and my second test case has been passed then I should see page title as test page for selenium cucumber that is I am navigated to my appropriate test page test for asserting element text to assert element text you can use these steps so I have test page and I, I want to assert that I am expecting these steps uh, this text only so I have created one scenario where I am navigating to my test page an element having xpath this this means you can see should have text as text input first name means I am verifying I am seeing this label correctly so now let's run this scenario and you can verify that I should not uh, the element should not have text as this so you can do both the test positive test cases and neg neg negative test cases as well so let's run this scenario so my test page has been open and I have verified the test cases has been passed since the expected results are seen steps for asserting element accessibility to assert that element unable or disabled you can make use of these steps so on my test page I have submit button as unable and this uh, disable button as disabled so I have created one scenario where I am opening my test page and I am verifying that element having id submit should be enabled and element having id disable button should be disabled. So this button has a id submit and this button has a id as disabled button. Now let's run this scenario. my test page has been open you can see that both these test cases are passed since submit button is enabled and disable button id should be disabled and it is disabled steps for asserting element visibility you can assert element by its presence that it should be present and it should not be present using these steps so on my test page this ID is showed after 10 seconds means before 10 seconds it does not present on test page but after 10 seconds it showed up you can see here I am refreshing web page my test page and you can see it is now not there but after 10 seconds it will be there so now I have created one scenario where I am navigating to my test page and element having id hidden element that is id of this div tag is hidden element should be should not be present and I wait for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds this id should be present so now let's run this scenario Now 
I open my text and ele element should not be present and it is not present and I waited for 10 seconds now it is showed up and the test case has been passed since the id is the ele hidden element is showed up steps for asserting checkbox you can assert that checkbox is checked or it is unchecked by using these steps so on my test page by default checkbox 1 and checkbox 5 is checked and these three checkboxes are unchecked so i have created one scenario where i am verifying that checkbox having id chk1 should be checked that is checkbox 1 it has id chk1 i am verifying it it is checked and checkbox having id chk2 should be unchecked means checkbox 2 it has id check chk2 so now let's run this scenario so you can see here it is verified that chk ch checkbox 1 is checked and ch checkbox 2 is unchecked steps for asserting radio button you can verify that radio button is selected and it is unselected so on my test page i have three radio buttons and radio button 1 is selected by default and other two are not selected so i have created one scenario where i am verifying that radio button having id rdb1 should be selected means radio button 1 is selected and i am verifying that radio button having id rdb2 should not be selected should be unselected so now let's run this scenario so my test page has been opened and the scenarios has been passed since the radio button rdb1 is selected and the radio button second radio button is unselected steps for asserting links you can assert that link is present or you can assert that link is not present by using these steps so on my test page i have three links selenium cucumber gym selenium cucumber website and predefined steps as well so i have created one scenario where the link having text selenium cucumber gym should be present and i am created another scenario where link having text xyz should not be present so you can see that on my test page selenium cucumber gym link is present but xyz link is not present so now let's run this scenario So it is verifying that selenium cucumber gem link is present and it is verified that this link is present now it is verifying that link xyz having text xyz is not present and it should not be present and you can see that that link having text xyz should not be present it is verified that it is not present steps for asserting javascript pop-up alert you can assert text on javascript pop-up alert by using these steps then i should see text as well and your expected text so on my test page i have one pop-up alert this is and i am verifying that i am seeing this text only so i have created one scenario where i am navigating to my test page i am clicking on element try that is i am clicking on this button in order to pop up a javascript alert and i am verifying that i see this text so now let's run this scenario so my test page has been open and it is now clicking on try it button to pop up alert 
you can see it is text is verified